Sayo, uh, Dairo, uh, an MPFL uh, expert, uh, joins me live now to uh, do a review of the uh, Nigeria Professional Football League matches that went down on Sunday. Well, Fisayo, uh, very pleased to see your face this morning. Uh, Rivers United, uh, of course, have demonstrated capacity to, ret um, to retain their position on top of the table by uh, coming back strong with that one new victory. Yeah, good morning to you once again. Yes, Rivers United, like we discussed last week, they are definitely going to have a say in who wins the league at the end of the season. There's a lot of their top spots last midweek when Platy United got a shock win uh, away against uh, against Cano Pillars. But yesterday against Rangers here in Port Harcourt, they showed that they were up for it. They met a uh, very disciplined and organized Rangers side that are yet, they were yet to lose a game away from home this season. They've played six matches, one, two, drawn four away from home. That's Rangers. But against Rivers United, the gods talk when Yima and Wango has caught that long goal after the hour mark. It was a deserved win for me. And um, for Rivers United, they can always look up to better things from this side. Yes, Platt United will play Gombe United on Wednesday. If they win, they go back to top spot. I don't think that uh, that's going to happen. So for now, Rivers United stay on top. And, uh, of course, uh, uh, holders, Aqua United, defeated uh, Dakara three goals to two in uh, that um, uh, derby in Rio. Aqua United uh, surprisingly rebounded well from uh, the dismissal of the head coach, Kennedy Boboy, uh, just a week ago. They followed up um, a, a, a battle run of not winning three home games by defeating Remo Stars of all teams away from home. And then... In the Aqua Ibom Derby yesterday, they've beaten Dakada. So they've gotten six points in the first two games after Boboy. And life cannot just be more beautiful than it is right now in New York. I think they, they, are, they are now on 23 points and they, they have every chance to finish in the top three brackets at the end of the season. Well, the other area that uh, perhaps we would also need to take a look at is the officiating uh, so far. Um, in the previous season, there were quite a number of complaints against officials and all of that, uh, you know, and all of that. But uh, this season so far, what's your view about the officiating uh, so far in the league? Well, to be very honest with you, I do think that the officiating has improved in some measure, you know, um, and some of them can be, some of these measures can be seen from the manner of results the pattern of results we have seen this season. You know, the, the less fancy sides are getting results, especially the newly promoted ones. Remo Stars, Niger Tornadoes are currently four games on beating. Gombe United are currently five games on beating. Shooting Stars are doing very well. So um, the, there is no margin of um, we are playing against the richer sides who have all the capacity to induce referees. I've seen quite a lot of games, and I think the officiating are quite much, much better than we've seen in the past. Yes, there is no perfect officiating anywhere, even in the leagues where they have the gadgets to aid referees, where they have the video assistance referees, they still have controversies. Yes, that means there will always also be controversies, especially when you uh, look at um, the African factor as well. But uh, I'm impressed. I think I'm satisfied with what I've seen with, in terms of officiating this season. Can it get better? Absolutely. And will it get better? I do think so. The NRA are always there to sanction any referee that is found wanting. And I think that uh, fear has, come, has become the beginning of wisdom for the match arbiters. All right. Now, um, if we also look at um, other you know, components of the league, um, what, what else do you think can be done in order to improve on what we have on the ground? Uh, we, we all know how you know, Nigerian football fans talk about the English Premier League, talk about the La Liga, uh, the German Bundesliga and all of that. Uh, what can we do to ensure that the Nigeria Professional Football League is made even more attractive to Nigerian fans and football fans around the world and, uh, generally? I think the most important thing which will first come to mind is... Um, you know, getting the games in the faces of the fans. You know, um, why these fans we talk about, talk much about these leagues is because they are accessible to them. They watch them on TVs, they follow them up on the internet, 
and social media. So we have to do likewise for our leagues if we want to restore those years where the leagues, our leagues are really what fans used to talk about every now and then. So you put them on TV, you put them on radio, you put them on advertising billboards in the streets, you know, you make them conversant with their fans. Again, the structure of club ownerships can make these things difficult as well because a lot of our clubs are owned by the state governments and that in turn does not allow the clubs, that, that does not motivate the, the clubs to do extra because they're getting free money from the government. But, you know, uh, from the angle of the organizers, yes, we have to put it on TV. We have to get the fans talking and that's why we really have to... Um, salute some media organizations um, like the TV Continental, the channels, they, 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 they devote ample time for the league uh, in, in their station. So at least, minimally, the fans get to see a lot happening in the league. But from the organizing aspect, we have to do more in terms of putting it in their faces. Let them see these games wherever they tune into, on radio, on TV, on social media. And then that's, you know, I think the, the European leagues have gone a little far ahead now. We can only just improve our own visibility, not right. to rival them, because I don't think that's going to happen anymore. All but right. just to improve our visibility to ensure that even in as much as they can talk about the European leagues, they, they also know uh, quite much about their own leagues. All right, then uh, Fisayo Dairo, uh, football analyst and also an expert on the Nigeria Professional Football League. We thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you very much for having me.